What if Raditz was sent to Earth instead of Goku? Hey everyone, it's Android18 here, and welcome to my first What If slash Theory video for Dragon Ball. In this series, I'll essentially just be either talking about like theories I've, I've thought up or theories other people have thought up and try and explain them to you guys. So if you like that kind of stuff, then that's good. But I also wanted to make this a discussion series too. So if you guys have any questions about Dragon Ball and about the characters or like, or about the events and I know about them, essentially I will do my best to answer your questions and I thought it'd be cool to add like a discussion section to this channel because I think you guys will like it. Anyway, back to the video. So what if Raditz was sent to Earth instead of Goku? And I know what a lot of you are thinking, well, that's impossible because obviously Raditz is a few years older than Goku and yeah, um, Raditz couldn't have gone to Earth because Goku did. But basically in this scenario, I'm going to make Goku the older brother and Raditz the younger brother. So instead of Dragon Ball Z, if you guys remember, Raditz comes to Earth right at the beginning and kidnaps Gohan and I think you guys remember what happens. But in this story, Goku's going to be the older brother and Raditz is actually going to be sent to Earth instead of Goku. So the same events will transpire where Goku is sent to Earth in his space pod, Grandpa Gohan finds him and gets him out and the same thing occurs where he starts off being quite a ill-tempered child until he falls out of Gohan's arms into the ravine and hits his head just like Goku did. And this is where the first changes all occur. So I, instead of being as kind of, he's gonna, Raditz will basically become like Goku where his, where his personality will become much more happy and nice and pure hearted. However, instead of being a little thick gold like Goku is, Raditz will still be a little dumber than he would have been, but he's still gonna be quite a smart intellectual fighter. And I know a lot of you guys say Goku's dumb, but he's actually a very good fighter too. If Goku has many talents, his biggest talent will essentially be his fighting. So yeah, Raditz would still be a good fighter. However, something that I think would be different is just because of his general personality. I think Raditz would be a little smarter than Goku in like an intellectual sense. So I think he'd be more inclined to learn. So when Grandpa Gohan teaches him about the world and the basics of human anatomy, I guess, he would eventually learn a little more than Goku and he'd know what a girl in marriage is. And he'd know a couple of other little things which would make him less of a weird wild person. But he'd still live in the wilderness. So yeah, essentially the events of Dragon Ball would mostly be the same up to this point. And he would still accidentally kill Grandpa Gohan as a great ape when he one day looks at the moon like Goku did. So a lot of the stuff in the start of the series would be the same. But I think Raditz's personality would be a little different to Goku's. I think he would be a, a bit more... I guess polite in a way because he'd be a little more knowledgeable. So there might be a few less kind of crazy funny scenes with Goku being stupid. But as you guys might be wondering, would um, Raditz be called Goku? And yes, he would. Raditz would be called Goku. And because the Goku would be the older brother, he'd be called just called Kakarot instead of Raditz. Or I guess he would be called Raditz. I don't know. You guys can decide whether he'd just be called Kakarot or Raditz. But that isn't too important. But anyway, I guess if we're going to be technical, Raditz, who has took Goku's place, would be called Kakarot and Goku would be called Raditz. That's what I'm thinking. But anyway, so eventually the time comes when Bulma would eventually arrive looking for the four-star Dragon Ball. Obviously, Bulma would be able to find the Dragon Ball because of her dragon radar. And that's originally how she finds Goku in the middle of the wilderness because... If you guys haven't watched the original Dragon Ball, basically, Bulma makes a dragon radar to look for the Dragon Balls, and the four-star Dragon Ball was essentially a memento of Goku's grandfather, Gohan. And that's why he's so protective of the four-star Dragon Ball, and that's why it's his favorite. But yeah, the same kind of scenario would occur where he joined Bulma on their journey. However, instead of kind of being rude, and he'd make sure to really treat Bulma with a little more respect, because Grandpa Gohan taught him to be always be nice to girls and polite. So this Raditz would be a little more intellectual and be a bit more nice to Bulma. He'd still save her from the pterodactyl that snatches her up. And yeah, 
In this kind of different timeline, I think Bulma and Raditz would become a little close because although Raditz would still be carefree like Goku and he'd like to have fun, he would want to learn a little more from Bulma because as we know, like Raditz is kind of intellectual when it comes to just general things. We know this because unlike like Goku, he's willing to use like his brain and underhanded tactics to kind of get what he wants. As an example of this, I believe Raditz tells Goku to kill a hundred humans once he takes Gohan and to bring their body his their bodies to him or something. He said something along those lines to kind of get Goku to kind of go to the Saiyan side and leave Earth with him. He basically blackmailed Goku and also when he fights Piccolo, he essentially uses intimidation to scare him like originally when they meet and also when he fights with Goku and then Goku grabs Raditz's tail. Raditz doesn't hesitate to use kind of trickery to kind of trick Goku into letting go of his tail so he could get the upper hand in the fight again. So as we can see, Raditz originally wasn't as naive as Goku in the normal timeline and he also used his kind of brain in devious ways. So it does show that he's quite naturally smart because he's not the strongest fighter but he seems to get by by tricking people and, you know, blasting them from behind and things like that. You, you could imagine him doing that in the Freezer Force. So yeah, I think that's why Raditz would be a little more intellectual than Goku, even after hitting his head. I also believe Raditz would be a little more naturally stronger than Goku. And the reason I think this is because originally, like in the normal timeline, Raditz grew up with all the other Saiyans like Vegeta and Nappa, and Planet Vegeta's, or Planet Plant's, gravity is essentially 10 times stronger than Earth's. So when you think about it, although Raditz originally would have fought like a few different types of aliens and stuff taking over planets with Vegeta and Nappa, I don't really think he ran into anything like crazily strong that he couldn't take care of or else he probably would have died a lot earlier in the series, if you think about it, before he met the normal timeline Goku. However, Goku on Earth, originally in Dragon Ball, had lots of different threats he had to face and many of them were stronger than him originally. And he had a lot more like trials that he had to kind of go through, mostly on his own. He had a little help sometimes, but you guys get what I mean. So I think Raditz would end up being a little stronger than Goku at the start of Dragon Ball Z. But yeah, kind of going into um, a little more on Dra the original Dragon Ball. I think um, when he meets Chi Chi, Raditz, he would kind of like her as a friend like Goku did. However, when Chi Chi asks about wanting to marry him, he'd actually know what marriage is. So... Instead of just saying yes, because Goku originally thought marriage was a food, so that's pretty funny, Raditz would kind of politely say, I'm not sure, or I don't know, maybe, and he'd kind of say, change the subject. And Chi Chi being innocent would just be like, oh yeah, yeah, let's do what Goku wants, because he's cute. <laughs> yeah, if I accidentally call Raditz Goku a couple of times, it's basically confusing, because Raditz would technically be Goku. You kind of get what I mean, though. But I'm just going to call him Raditz, for clarity's sake just so you guys know who I'm talking about. I also think that over the years, he would grow a bit more closer to Bulma, as Bulma would be able to teach him like kind of more things without getting too embarrassed. Because originally, Goku was kind of rude because he was so stupid, if that makes sense. So Bulma would kind of freak out and just tell him to go away sometimes in like a comedic way. But Raditz would be a bit more polite and intellectual, so like he'd want to learn from Bulma and not annoy her as much. Like he'd still tease her and stuff like that. And he'd still be a pure hearted and everything. And he'd still get the Nimbus and all those kind of things. But I think the main difference in this timeline to begin with before Dragon Ball Z would be that Raditz would come a lot closer to Bulma. And after the three year time skip before the world tournament when basically the Z fighters grow up a little bit. I think Raditz would be even more attractive um, than Goku was when Bulma first saw him grow up. And I think because they had so many adventures over the years I think... Eventually, after the tournament and Raditz fighting Chi Chi, instead of them hooking up, I think eventually, before Dragon Ball Z, I think Bulma and Raditz would hook up because Raditz would actually, I think, have a little more feelings towards Bulma because Bulma would have taught him so much and over the years he would have matured a bit and yeah, he would probably start liking girls but he wouldn't know how to react to it. But he'd also know about how all that stuff works so yeah, I think him and Bulma would eventually get together. But yeah, what other little things do you think would change in the series, like in this first part that I'm talking about, mainly in the Dragon Ball timeline, like the Dragon Ball section of the story? I think Raditz's personality would be quite similar to Goku's, however I think he'd be a little more serious at times, and he'd 
kind of approach fighting in a different way. He might be a little more rowdy than Goku when he fights, but I think overall he'd still be a respectful and honourable fighter with a good heart. Anyway, so this part's gonna end, basically wrap up with Goku slash Raditz hooking up with Bulma instead of Chi Chi, and in the next part we'll discuss what happens in the Dragon Ball Z section of the story. So I'll talk about the beginning where Goku will come to Earth instead of Raditz, and let's see how that pans out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of my Dragon Ball discussions. I might not be too great at doing this straight away because, um, yeah, it's the first part and I normally do reaction videos. So, yeah, just let me know what you think of this. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment on other things you want me to discuss and, you know, theories you want me to talk about. I'm not the most knowledgeable Dragon Ball person, but I do know quite a lot. So, yeah, hopefully I can answer some of your questions. Even if it's just like a little question, I might do a quick kind of discussion just going over something but yeah don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications from whenever i upload videos i have a discord and a twitter in my description the links to them will be down below so click them if you want to follow me or join my discord server and also i have a patreon if you want to back me on patreon yeah it's in the description it would really help me get my channel kind of off the ground a bit more because i haven't been monetized by youtube yet so <laughs> Yeah, that would be really helpful. But anyway, I hope you have a great day. And also, don't forget everyone, subscribe to me. Because I'm definitely 18.